जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स इन दी लास्ट क्लास वी ऑल हैव टॉक अबाउट दी डेसिमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रियल नंबर्स एंड कन्वर्जन ऑफ डेसिमल्स इन टू इट्स रैशनल फॉर्म Now over here in this class we all are going to learn about the operations on real number. Since last year you all have done the operations on rational numbers. Here we will take the rational as well as irrational numbers. The properties of rational and irrational numbers are discussed in the PDF which I will be sending along with this video today. Some of the properties of the numbers are mentioned over here this is given in your ncert book as well like root ab can also be written as root a into root b same way the quotient of root a upon b can also be written as root a upon root b. same way if you are doing the product of the numbers which are inside the roots so root a plus root b into root a minus root b it is simply the identities which we all have studied in class 8 that is a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square remember that if something is there in the root and if you are squaring it the root will gets removed and you will be getting the number a only for example if i am writing root 3 and then i am squaring it the root 3 actually means 3 raised to the power 1 by 2 and its whole to the power 2 according to the laws of exponents which we all have studied in our previous classes we know that if there are brackets and inside and outside of the bracket the powers are there we need to multiply their powers so if you multiply them you will be getting 3 to the power 1 or simply 3 so you can see that if you are squaring root 3 it will be giving you root 3 square will gives you 3 so this is how these identities are being developed and written over here all these identities are mentioned in your ncert book also for your reference you can check that also now today we will be further discussing about how to perform addition subtraction multiplication and division of real numbers which will be the combination of rational as well as irrational numbers their properties as i have already said are already mentioned in the pdf which i'll attach today so we'll start with the first question where we are going to add this and this so for this same you all have to recall the properties of the algebraic expressions which you all have studied in classes 7 and 8 where we were able to add only the like terms or we can subtract the like terms only over here also similar process will be used that the rational part of the number which is 2 over here and the minus 7 over here will be added or subtracted together and the irrational part that is 5 root 3 and 5 root 3 in this also will be subtracted together so we need to separate the rational and irrational parts of the numbers and then we will perform the addition or subtraction of these numbers so take a look how can we add these two numbers so the question is 2 plus 5 root 3 this to be added with minus 7 minus 5 root 3 so we will separate the rational part that is 2 and minus 7 and the irrational part that is plus 5 root 3 and minus 5 root 3 the first calculation is very easy 2 minus 7 gives you minus 5 over here if you all can see we can take out the root 3 common from these two terms and if you take out common from the first part you will be getting 5 and over here it is minus 5 so minus 5 plus this will becomes 0 so you will be getting 0 into root 3 and we all know that the product of 0 with any other number will always be 0 so the final answer will be minus 5 this is how we can add a pair of real numbers same way we are going to talk about the subtraction let's take the second example over here 
So it is to be subtracted from 3 root 2 plus 5 root 3. From this we need to subtract root 2 minus 3 root 3. So if we can proceed, we will find out the like terms. Now the question arises how to find out the like terms. So for the same, you need to take the numbers which are there inside the roots. So you can find it out or you can observe that here we have root 2, here we have root 2. So these two can be taken together. Same way, if you can see, here we have root 3, here also we have root 3. So they can be paired together for the calculation. So we'll be expanding these two brackets after opening it. So 3 root 2 plus 5 root 3 minus root 2. And this minus and this minus will make together a plus sign and that is 3 root 3. Now we will take the like terms together 3 root 2 minus root 2 plus 5 root 3 plus 3 root 3. So suppose you have three apples and you have given one apple to someone else. Definitely we will left with two apples. So same with 3 root 2 minus root 2 gives you 2 times root 2 and same way 5 apples added to 3 apples gives you three ap 8 apples so that is 8 root 3. Now we cannot do further calculation as root 2 and root 3 are two different numbers irrational as well so we cannot do any calculation further so this is the final answer. So this is how we can add and subtract a group of real numbers. I hope it will be clear to everyone. Now we will move on to the subtraction, uh, multiplication and division of real numbers. So we'll take example number three first and then we'll go for the example number four. Let's take example number three now. That is multiply seven root five by three root 5. So same way over here we as we have done in the algebraic expressions that the constants were multiplying with the constant and the variables with the variables here also the numbers which are outside the roots will be multiplied outside and the numbers inside will be multiplied inside. In the case of multiplication and divisions we don't have to find out the like terms as we were not required in the case of algebra as well. So we'll perform this simple calculation that it's 7 multiplied by 3 and inside the root 5 will be multiplied by 5. So we'll be getting 21 root 25. Now sometimes as in this case you may find that 25 is a number whose square root can be calculated easily. So we all know the square root of 25 is 5. So it becomes 5 and 21 into 5 gives you 105. That is the final answer. For example if instead of 7 root 5 and 3 root 5 if you would have 7 root 5 into 3 root 2 then in that case the answer would have been root 10. We cannot find out root 10 easily so we'll leave it in this way only and that could have been the final answer. So there are two different types of questions which you may get while solving the different problem sums. So accordingly you all are going to solve it. Now moving on to the division part of this. Let's take the fourth example to perform the division of real numbers. So we need to divide 10 root 21 by 2 root 7 similar to the way we have done the multiplication we will be performing the division also outside the root will be divided outside inside the division will take place inside so 2 divide 10 divided by 2 gives you 5 and 21 divided by 7 gives you 3 so 5 root 3 will be the final answer so this is how you can perform addition subtraction multiplication and division of the real
real numbers now the practice questions will be provided in the pdf which we will be sending along with this so solve those questions for any queries you can text me till then enjoy learning jai hind